All right. So thanks for joining me here today. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. So um, just for everybody um, who may be viewing this as a video now, this did, wasn't originally planned as a video. Um, what we were going to do was touch base today and talk about uh, Stefan Kadoka um, and discuss kind of the direction of my collection um, in lieu of that uh, purchase, right, or that manufacture, um, and kind of work through some of the details of what do we do with the dial, what do we want to do with the case, all those sorts of things. And then it seemed like a really good idea because of Boris's business at Watches and Art, um, and a little bit maybe because everyone has different watch collecting strategies, or they maybe begin to discover those strategies over time, that we have a little broader conversation. And so maybe we should open this up and discuss a little bit about our strategies. So Boris, what, what, is, what have you discovered as your watch collecting strategy? <laughs> you know, um, from my watch collecting strategy, I've actually never really thought about, thought about a, 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 a behind it, behind it, or a strategy. I got into this base. Would call would call solely solely on a um, watch I like, like anything, anything. I was I was actually on a longer conversation session with one of the our our groups in a uh, group in Cle Cleveland uh, some days ago. Ask me a ask me a question question. Um, I, I've never thought about it. There are people, there are people out there that say, "Oh, I will only collect um, chronogra chronographs from 1950 to 1960. That's it. My dials, my dials have to be black, by the way. Oh yes, and it must be steel cases, no gold. I don't have. If I if I pulled out my stuff, everything, everything there's something from whatever diary watches, chrono from the 1940s, 50s, divers from 60s, from 60s, 70s. I've never thought about it. Um, People, people who thought it, thought it, they're often driven, I think, by a financial reason or, reason or let me put it that way, that way, that way, it, for making profit with it. I watch this, watch this as not a primary item to make profit. Obviously, I'm in the business, so I have somewhere profit, profit, still have, still have my heart in it, into it. And I still will buy a watch, even if I know they're not going to, they're not going to say to love it, love it. So just do Okay, so I've discovered along the way that I don't like a big collection, right? And so what I plan to buy often then affects what I already own, right? And I seem to have a little bit of a barometer um, as I go along on how much money I have in my collection, right? I don't want to have $500,000 in a collection. I don't want to have $200,000 in a collection, yeah. you know? So I, I've always got that in the back of my mind working against my collection. And I've always got the total number because I want to really be able to enjoy that. So as I, as I look at uh, making a commitment to something, if I hadn't pre-planned it, oftentimes that means then that something has to go. Okay. Um, I understand. So I'll give you an example of, of potentially what that means. So um Late last year, um, December, I, I always forget where this yeah. came was. Um, I ordered a Rolex. Now, um, people who have known me would look at that and say, well, I'm kind of surprised you ordered that Samariner, right? Because it's ubiquitous um, and everyone talks about, you know, everyone has it, but nobody can get it and you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, it's, but it's, nobody can, nobody can get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what I've also discovered about myself is I've got these two different sides to me. On one hand, I love developing a relationship and a rapport with the watchmaker, and there's there's two sides to even that because that points me toward independence, but not independence that I'm not engaged with. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. for example, um, one of the things that OK, well, let's take Parmigiani, for example. I've got yeah. that on right yeah. now. OK. I don't know anybody at Parmigiani. Right. I don't know the maker. And so it has a limit to me on what that means as an independent watchmaker. Whereas with Stefan Kadoka, 
Um, whereas with, uh, with um, Armand Biard, right, these guys really engage with their clients. And that, for me, is something that I want to collect, right? Something like this, this is, has two things going for it. It is a very versatile watch that can be worn with anything. So if I catch myself at the office and I have to go out to dinner with a client, great. It works well. And it has one other thing that, um, that some people like, and that is it has heritage, right? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. I've always driven a derivative of a Land Cruiser, not only because I think it's a very capable vehicle and it's great for where we live in the mountains, but because it's got a great heritage and background to it as well. There's something enjoyable about that. This is kind of the same way, right? I, but that, I, only need one, that, and I, I only need one of these. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've got a very treasured uh, Rolex. That's the current model, right? Actually, actually yeah. I think they call it a 41 millimeter, but I think people have measured it. It's still 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's like 40 and a half and they've just rounded up, yeah. you know. Yeah. Which, um, but um yeah, it, it, it'll be incredibly difficult to get which has a few reasons. I mean this corona, this corona, the factory was closed for two or three months uh, during the middle of last year. So used uh, used uh, less watches. I know what they, know what their total output was last year, but it's never never been as low as last. Yeah. yeah. And for yeah. everybody like looking go. at this, that you know, they're calling that a 41. It wears I mean, I think it kind of wears small. I have a, I have right at a seven inch wrist, just over a seven inch wrist. Um, okay. And um, it wears, it's very comfortable. It's, it doesn't drape. Um, it doesn't drape like the Parmigiani drapes, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think that that's just because when you look at the lug profile and, you know, how small um, all of the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, links. the links are, yeah. Link. Um, how small the links yep. are, um, it just leads to that, you know, natural drape around the wrist. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I've discovered some idiosyncrasies of, um, myself, probably, you know, really starting last year when I, you know, started bringing in like um, Moser and things of that nature that then led me over the course of the year to certain collection, certain idiosyncrasies about how I like to collect. Yeah, it sounds like you and could I own two hundred watches. You you could own two hundred watches and be just fine with it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, out there there are people that are completely crazy. They don't even know how many watches they are. But um, the people who the people who have a lot of watches, they're still wearing one or two or three at most of the time. The rest they don't right. even get to see. Um, right. But and that's I where recall, I saw. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Um, Mark, I recall you actually made a video last year of your, uh, I think it was a Moser Endeavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah. It, it's a very, it's a very classic. I, should, I, should, I think it was rose gold, very elegant. You still have it or you let it go? I don't let it go. I don't know. I don't own a single Moser right now. Oh. 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 I feel a little guilty about that. <laughs> um, let me go through. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it up because I'm sure that it is in here somewhere. Let me grab it. Yeah, right here. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know what? I, I, um, I decided that I wanted to do something with a little more interest in the dial, like little things about it, like it would be nice, and I'm not sure if this is the right term for it, because I'm used to talking about a chapter ring being around the outer circumference or inner circumference of the dial. But you know yeah. how, yeah. Um, when you look at Kadokia stuff, um, let me just flip up to that real quick, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. here, okay? So yeah. this is yeah. in a small seconds, obviously, but. I really love that aesthetic of how that breaks up a watch dial and adds visual interest to a watch dial. And so yeah. the, the, while I love that Moser Endeavor, I love the way it fit and everything, I just wanted that extra little bit of interest in my, in my um, dress watch. Yeah, I understand. Well, well yeah. here you have abilities to, to, to not only customize kit, to make it in a way to, to 
kind of maybe something especially especially liking um as, as we are discussed ago days ago possibly a, a guyoshi dial and we'll come to that later um with all the implications and challenge coming with coming with it or if you want to do you want to design it differently i'm sure there are options and and that is something you know, Mo Mozart may or may not entertain some of these options, but it's up for them for us. They're, produ they're producing quantities, quantities. I think about a thousand a year, a year, and one day up with that. Up with that. Um, have a great relationship, relationship with them. Um, it, it, it could be, it could be someday. Who knows? Someday. Who knows? I don't know. I can't tell. Um, um, but um, here you have a small maker. I, think he, think, I don't know. Maybe fifty watches a year. Watches a year. A hundred. Hard to tell. But yeah. somebody, who, somebody who deep in it, deep in it met Stefan, Stefan and his wife time, several times in my life. Once, yeah. once at his home in um, uh, Weifa, which is about 45 minutes outside of Dresden uh, in the far German area. German area. And, um, and um, so approachable, approachable. You know, I, I, I've been to, I've been to many, yes, in Le, in Le Fleurier, but that's already much different. Parmi, Parmi entertains, entertains several facts. They're producing things. Um, they're producing, producing cases. They're pretty, much, pretty much, a really integrated, really integrated company. Amazing. It's amazing how much they can do them, do them, and how many, how many other companies are getting. Can you hear me still? Yeah, I hear you. I got cut out at some point. Okay. Yeah, there was. It was you. I was getting a lot of echo on your side. And um, I just canceled, uh, ironically, the echoing, and it fixed it. Okay. Yeah, now it sounds perfect. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. Who knew that by canceling the echo canceling that you would actually cancel the echoing? <laughs> oh, so it's doing it reverse. <laughs> yeah, it was doing it reverse. Now it's perfect. Okay, good. Okay. Cool. I can so, hear you perfect. Good, good. So, I, so what we're going to talk about then in regard to the Kadoka. Is that pronounced right? Is, is it pronounced with a with a soft E at the end? Kudoka. Yeah. Kudoka. Kudoka. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um yeah. so here's what's going on in my collection. Let me let me just and, and I want to get your 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 thoughts on this. Okay. So right now obviously I have the Rolex and I have the Parmigiani. Those are the only things in my collection right now. Okay. Of any value. Right. Okay. I've got okay. I've got some Casio G shocks and things like that, but that's it okay. at this point in time. Okay, um, I understand. understand. Okay. So I have, as you know, I have a SBO five on order. Okay. Yeah. And what's really unique about this is there may be the most options with this piece as compared to any other, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. As far as dials, um, you know, like it says here, polished hammer, guilloche, stone dials, steel, titanium, gold, or tantalum cases. Um, Armand is really offering a broad range of options, and he seems to revel in um, every watch being different. From a, from a production standpoint, that sounds like a nightmare. From a creativity standpoint, because he's a designer, I can understand why he likes to do that so he doesn't get bored. But um this is well he is a designer and he's yeah. help help from in for in pieces and carry with the the line of of dial the dials there is are rounding p rounding p he has he, the great the great it's fun it's fantastic with his, with his ideas he is being received i think i think incredibly by a certain concert sorry I, I keep getting echoing on your side and, and i have to keep adjusting it Okay. Yeah. Um, so great. I mean, it's it's a success story. I think at this point, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I like very much what he's been doing. He figured out a, a technique to actually create these titanium-based dials in different colors. I know there were some uh, challenges to create some colors. He couldn't do that. So it's not endless opportunities that you can have, but it's an incredible amount of right. possibilities out there great great right. job yeah. and now with a movement from i think it's a movement from boshe right so it's a parmigiani movement um it is a movement from 
Why you pray? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And uh, then um, the case is coming from uh, Kari Butalan and something. Yeah. Complimin. Complimin. Yeah. So okay. um, I would I would look at this and go, okay, that's a that's a high value watch, similar to what I originally saw with the Ophion, right? Now, yes, with the yes. Ophion, this this was a uh, you know fifty five pieces limited worldwide. Um, there's no customization of this. It is if you love this, get it because we're only making fifty five of them. I jumped in on that. So this watch is coming in June. Okay, okay so this is you. kind of this is my um, you know, this is a fun watch, right? You've got the red radial dial here. Uh, a lot going on with um, what would you what would you call this this ring inboard of the chapter ring? That's a good question. I I would know the name um, out of my head. I, it may not even have a name. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of if it were a different color inside. I had a um, JLC, a JLC Master Control sector dial, right? It kind of reminds me of like that sector dial yes. yeah. sort of thing, but without actually being a sector dial. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -hmm. cool design. Is mm -hmm. Def definitely very cool. Design. Um, um, the no from no from whom. Whom that design comes from, but from but the way the way it's done, it's in. Um, um, I mean, we're, we're, in this case, you see you it from from Karin Kari Buti lines, but the, the, the dial is independent of it, and he, they did a great. I mean, I mean, um, um, that will be that will be successful as well. As well. Yeah. So, I was just trying to see if I could pull up some some more information for you on this because I had a great um, a live stream with Ophion one day, but everything's kind of running together right now in terms of uh, in terms of names. So I, I apologize for that. Mm -hmm, no problem. Okay. So this is coming. This is for sure staying in, in my collection. Totally different. You know, teardrop lugs, which are very traditional, kind of juxtaposed maybe against a little more um, contemporary with the red, but then, you know, now we're talking about reggae numerals and things of that nature. So probably leans much more traditional. Now, this is another piece that arrives this year. Hey, cool. Hey, cool. Get, get. So even, even harder than your inner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, um, you know, so I've been developing a relationship, um, over a number of years with a, a company here called uh, Windsor Jewelers. And I started out by working with a guy named uh, Garrett Cassell uh, over in the Winston-Salem area. And we've just, you know, have become friends over time. And I've had IWC and Panerai. And, you know, like you go down the big brand names, right? I've bought one of them, at least from, you know, Brand Seiko and all those sorts of things. And they didn't stick in the collection, but I've always been real loyal to them. So where this came from was actually their, their Charlotte store. Um, and I got okay. to know the owner down there some, but, you know, Garrett you know, obviously helped me with that. And then Garrett has, uh, they have Patek Philippe at both locations in Winston-Salem and Charlotte. And um, Garrett was able to get a, a commitment um, on this for me by the end of the year this year. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. So in my it's mind right now. Piece, right? Piece. Hmm? It's it's an incredibly uh, it was it was for a long time actually because the because the Nautilus was dominating this field. Um, uh, one, once the Nautilus started in the last maybe two years, two years, we looked at uh, that uh, the Aquanaut. Oh, I think at this point the Aquanaut and the Nautilus are both are both it hyped. Yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, I think that this sells for just under twenty five thousand dollars. And when you look online, the numbers are crazy. I mean, you know, $52,000 yeah. <laughs> for that. I mean, you know, it's, it's crazy, but it is what it is. I, I love the design of it. I, I love, uh, I've always really liked the um, design aspect of this bezel here and everything. And when you see, um, I've seen this a number of times in different light. And 
it's not a black dial. It really gives a bronze look to it. So in this, this lighting okay. actually that the manufacturer is providing is not its best look. Yeah. The, the big thing that command is something is something very interesting. And it has been, it has become an, a discount everywhere. Uh, um, I, you know, you know, I see a difference between, difference between a price that somebody's come and others are, others are willing to pay, but, um, yeah. Uh, anything could be. I mean, as uh, hypes, hypes uh, start uh, start taking off. Seen this with seen this with other companies uh, uh, and with other and with other models. Past is obviously that they had a few hypes, go, hypes going through the through the last couple of decades. Uh, uh, whereby when we eighties, nobody wanted to buy wanted to buy a data and, and nowadays the exact made those ma models that were made in the eighties are are in the highest. Uh, 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 level of of um, uh, being hyped, um, um, and and I've seen these last, these last twenty years that I'm that I'm doing this with watches, basically going up, up and up and going down. I've seen I've seen prices going down really hard too. So, so, so when some of these people that are really in just in it for investment, the investment, they get nervous and then they sell the watches off. If if you just love the watch, you will you will enjoy it, appre appreciates in value. Um, You'll you'll not, will not bother start start in value in value right right so with with that said i want to kind of bring you up to speed with where my collection is right now and everything that i've made a commitment to so far and just from a timing standpoint just so you know okay so i as much as as, as attractive as this is i don't think that it's going to last um through the aquanaut Right. I think that the Aquanaut becomes my, if you will, high end luxury sports watch um, that's extremely versatile. I'll hang on to that. And by the way, I made a commitment to Garrett that if he if he would get it uh, for me, I wouldn't sell it. <laughs> OK, cool. So, cool. Yeah. And I made that same commitment here. You know, um, so th those two pieces are in the collection. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, I've got the Ophion, and, and so I expect that that Aquanaut will probably come in, let's say, after November, okay? okay. Um, okay. The Ophion Christmas, Christmas is, gift. Right, right. Um, <laughs> the Ophion is coming in June. And what I'm trying to do okay. intentionally is really uh, you know, limit the pieces, but also then you know, not have anything come in at, at the same time, right? Um, I don't want any overlap. I've done that before. And you just don't enjoy um, the pieces as they enter your collection. Okay. 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 So then that leaves two watches to discuss, both the Kudoka and yeah. the SB05. Now, either yeah. of these pieces could be in gold, right? And that's oh, okay. the one thing that I miss in my collection Right now, with the, the Moser, um, I love the way, the, the heft of, of a gold piece. I only want one, right? Um, but I, I like the heft of that when, you know, you're, you're putting on uh, a suit or a sport coat or, or whatever. So I know that I want that in the collection. And so I look at this in two different ways. With the Kudoka, um, Kudoka I'm trying to get that pronunciation right. Um, we're dealing with a 39 millimeter case, maybe a slightly longer lug, um, yeah. and it is also thicker. This is 10.2 millimeters thick. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. With the SBO5, we're dealing with a 38 and a half millimeter case. So for all intents and purposes, they're similar. A slightly shorter lug and maybe a more contemporary lug design to it, right? Um, mm -hmm. and this is eight and a half millimeters thick. Mm. So this, as far as dimensions are concerned, is, um, a more traditional watch dimension, right? It's going to be very similar. Um, well, no, it won't be similar in size to the Aquanaut because the Aquanaut is, is just over 40 millimeters, but nevertheless, yeah. it's very thin. It's, a, it's actually thinner than the Moser Endeavor was. So at first I was thinking maybe that's the direction I go with the gold piece. However, with a little more thickness to it, that also will provide a little more half from the gold. And so I'm wondering if I'm not best served to staying with a gold piece here 
and then doing something really crazy with Guilloche and, and things of that nature over here with the Sartori piece. What, what are your thoughts and what would you do? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> you're bringing up an interesting here, here. Um, deciding on what you, what you, and then and then going for gold changes changes the face of significant, significantly. Yeah. I I have a strong fable for gold for gold. I don't swear I don't remember in my daily life, 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 life but uh, um, I, um, I, I I love gold gold especially gold or gold or even yellow gold has a very has a very strong warmth to it and and gold on your wrist is very, so very different than steel um, just from a just from a perspective back i look at the look at um some certain uh, and i look at the designs he has had in the past and i think he's just now starting to offer gold but i if i if i I mean, well, I mean, when when you look at some somebody who creates a brand, Armand, Armand is still in a very early stage, but quite quite a big success, and it's taking off. I would still stay with a stay with a steel watch, um, because the way the way the designs designs come along. When I look at even though that I see here, I see right now on the screen, um, steel, steel, and and in my identification, I. I see his watches and watches, watches. Whereby I, um, you know, when you look gold, gold, gold has some bit and do with an, with a heritage. And when I look at Kudoka, Kudoka has Kudoka has already evolved. evolved. Kudoka yeah. is the second brand brand one that won the Dollar in Geneva. Um, he received received recognition, recognition not not only in Switzerland with winning this, but also across the globe. There have been a, have been a few just um, in limited editions, which were which were sold out, sold out, and we're looking still at a different price level. You know, I mean, that a watch starts watch starts at eight nine thousand euros, um, excluding v including VAT, um, which which you, you probably don't have or will have, or will have minor my VAT VAT to pay. Whereby here in Germany we're talking about percent. So that makes it that makes it a nine or ten thousand ten thousand euro one two thousand euro euros more. Um, I see, see Kudoka in one way very different from um, um, from uh, Armand, um, and and I don't mean to judge way this way. This is not a judgment. Trying trying to figure out some comment why why I would be inclined to go a certain. Is a, is a fantastic, de- great, I- great ideas. Incredibly spirited. Per- um, um, I love what he does. Uh, fantastic at this at this point, um, in an in an early stage, and I don't see it connecting value of go of which which may may see may see this, but and 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 I'm just talking about my own person and my own and my own um, um, look at things. Look at things when I look at the Kodoka. I, I think with gold, gold you can make you can make the Kudoka look incredibly. Thin. Um, one thing the Kudoka doesn't have just have just a dial. It's like a dial, like a dial seconds and minutes and an hour and hours. An additional feature, feature with time zone time zone that's displayed a clock in the clock in that circle, and the circle can obviously be made in colors in colors and in this case which gives the which gives the watch. Face, a face. It, it, the watch, the watch. It starts looking. It's looking. Uh, um, you know, in, you know. In a way, circle up there. There is like an eye that you. That's kind of how I kind of how I view it. Um, right. Doka, Doka has been has been known for finishing his watches all by. So, Kanku, Kanku Doka, he is an artist. Artist. Like I don't see, I don't see him as minor, minor, but much an artist. Whereby, whereby Armand is. Probably more a designer. I, yes, he has, yes he has been an artist on his. He has developed has developed techniques for it. Techniques for it. And I love I love these styles that he made in a titanium base. They're just absolutely fantastic. But I go with a steel steel piece on the head and with a gold piece on on Kudo watch watch. Especially especially with Kudo with Kudoka get get like. Any kind of thing on the king on the case because because he's doing it himself. He sits in his workshop and, and doing it. doing it there. Um, go, go, go if you if it's me mark me mark. Um, we can drop we can six hundred six hundred which is a, is a 
uh, seven, seven, six, seven hour, hour drive to go to him to see how it's see how it all. I have all I have it Armand. I spoke I spoke to him here but then and uh, the silly virus came and I haven't and I haven't visited any people any people since. Um, it's right. been a little difficult, especially here in Europe. We, like here in Germany, here in Germany, we went through a good time. We had a good summer, and people people became negligent, and we based on it with our with our agents. And now we all we have major, major uh, incident rates, uh, incident rates. In fact, in fact, it's just not very not very beautiful at the moment. So um, there there's a couple considerations then here. Um, I was talking about before with um, with Armand over at Sartori BR. Um, one of the things that he now offers is an exceptional line of of guilloche dials, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you can mix and match. So when you're looking at this, so for example, see the texture of yeah, this guilloche yeah. here versus this, and then those you can actually take do three different guilloches if you would like to. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't, but but you could. Um, and then yeah. these are yeah. everything that you get. Harry to does from. this on all his watches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my understanding is that Armand um, outsources this yes. to some, yes. someone who does all the guilloche for him. I think, but I think to Kari, right? No, Carl, Kari. I don't know. Okay, okay. So. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But just exceptional options i think when it comes to guilloches in, in fact it would there's so many options that it kind of makes it hard to choose yes yes <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. You, okay you, you, so you then with kudoke um i'll just bring up so this is the um your your options when it comes to working with them right of course you've got the kudoke one kudoke uh, and then you have Options such as a salmon dial for the Kodoka one. When you get to the Kodoka two, um, this is just a the page. There's lots, lots of options. Yeah, lots okay. of, um, um, So, but, but you know, Stefan works on works on bespoke. Uh, there's a lot of bespoke he does. I, I, I think I think most of what he does must be bespoke work. So when yeah, him, I, with him or I see that especially in his open works and everything that he does um, and his skeletization, he does a tremendous amount of customization there. Yeah. Uh, the skeleton, the skeleton are really, are really amazing. I, I, I was in his workshop and he showed me how he, go, how he goes about work and work. And I mean, that takes, that takes a patient, patience. I, he has admiration, admiration for what he does there. That's impressive. Yeah. Um, most of it goes, if it goes to Asian, 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 sometimes they want dragon, dragons, or some of, or some, 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 or something, something that represented by the skeletonizations. Um, there's lots of things, especially, especially on the movement. Side. Um, um, there are, there are possibilities on the side, uh, side. Uh, but we'll talk about it along, along, and, and obviously coming to, to the, to the point where you figure out a certain choice we'll have to see well and, it, this, and it, this is now what people are able to be able to watch this movie this movie um this video um how, how we we approach so so we discuss things at the end of the discussion we may, we may make or we may or not may not make or we may not we may not feel the progress Discussion brings brings. That's how it's that uh, Some some. I I I have had projects that take a month, others and others and have four months. Just read really until we came to a decision. Um, because even once you make decisions, that doesn't mean that we can do it all. Times you, you 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 all these all ideas to to the special watchmakers makers. The watchmakers have makers have to figure out figure out and see if it works. And we had issues that that certain things couldn't be done. I had one watchmaker I want to involve because uh, because my first pri first preference, and I, it turned out he couldn't do it because he didn't have the machines and know how and know how and technology to get there. But even though you have hand, you have hand, and hand and handcraft, only computer computer end that have, that support support. Right. So if I'm being honest about this, and we're we're going through this so that I can kind of get you, you know your feedback on where I go with this piece, um, I don't perceive the movement that he is making um, to be as 
aesthetically pleasing, for example, as what you would see from, you know, even Moser and things of that nature. And, and maybe that's okay. the difference between German versus, um, versus Swiss. Right. So when if, not, if not I, necessarily, um, yeah. it could be more his style, like, like the style has sh has shown in the past. Um, the, um, the way he most 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 movements uh, we're talking, Stefan Kudok, uh, um, the way he used to stuff the movement of the movements, he is he is basically uh, rubbing them on a, 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 a surface and creates kind of kind of like of looks of a sandy. Or a rubbed surface. Surface. It's it's like a rough surface. But but there are other possibilities. And I and I think it was you who showed a watch, a watch that they offered. They offered in the U.S. A limited in a limited edition, which had a movement it was still uh, brass and steel, and it had I think Geneva stripes, didn't it? I think so, and, and I think that that's maybe the the thing that I want to get to with Kudoka is understanding what the movement finish options are. Like, I love um, finger bridges and things of that nature in a dial. And even though this Moser that I formerly owned didn't necessarily get there all the way, just having that space between the, the bridges where you have, you know, polished edges and things of that nature is really beautiful. I mean, you can, you can go crazy with this stuff with, you know, inward angles and all those sorts of things. Um, but I would love to at least be of, of that, you know, caliber that we were with, that I was with, with, with Moser when it comes to the, you know, finishing of the, uh, Kudoka piece. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, in, in the case, actually, I'm Kudoka, Kudoka, this is really handcraft. All the finish, all the finishing is handmade. Not, that's not the case with, uh, um, other watches, especially when they have large, they have larger quantities. It actually gets really to... To make, make, I mean, when you're I mean, when you're making us, just it's just it's very difficult, difficult. I know at Lange and Zuna, they are very obs very obsessive, but they have like seven of these, of these, and there's a amount of amount of them on on old craft methods methods on their movement, uh, which is highly unusual. unusual um, but it has been their their signature that they're that they're still trying to uh, implement an incredibly high land of hand made hand finishing finishing and hand. You have you have this at uh, Moritz Grossman as Moritz Cross Moritz Cross makes makes probably ten percent or maybe five or something of what thing of what Lange makes. Um, um, so um, it, this are the are the easier the larger the larger oh, oh, hard, the harder it gets to actually do hand finishing on all the yeah. parts. And with, then easy. you have you have people like Rivia, yeah, uh, who is like obsessive, makes, but he makes five watches five or thirty watches. or thirty watches, and yeah. and there's wait lists for you and and um, um, those pay, since they're making the real the real amounts amounts U.S. if hand finishing. finishing, the smaller quantity the harder the harder it gets. But with we can talk with Stefan and I can talk, you can talk and talk with him with him, um, and, and we can we can ask them to help us and. Yes. If you have certain ideas, if, if you say oh, I want whatever, whatever kind of a style of finishing, Diva stripes, Diva stripes, I'm sure we can do it. We'll have to, just to talk. We like, we like. Okay. Um, uh, I think, I think it's an open door. Open door. And I know laugh, laughing when he was watching this movie later on, um, and, and, he, and and he's always yeah, yeah, my life, my life too well, but well, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I could have that I sold early, uh, 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 last year, um, um, and it turned out to turned out to make somebody really happy. And, and that's I think what's what counts. You know, the important is get what get what they are dream. Um, um, they can make that emotional connection. If you have, if you have just, we'll talk. We'll talk about the wishes. Then we'll see. Done. Done. Um, and from there, go from there. Okay. Well, and, and the other thing that I want to do is also honor the artist, right? That's the other side is that you want to, it, this is just my opinion. This is where I'm kind of coming from in, 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 in working with these independents is that I, I want, of course, you know, you, you, there are certain things that I like aesthetically, but not at the expense of it trampling on the artist's design as well. So what I'm thinking 
now is that we stay very much to his original design when it comes to the face because of that special method that he has um, for creating almost that sanded texture and sparkle um, in, in the, yeah. the face itself, right? The, the dial itself. Yeah. And we stay very much with this entire aesthetic. And then when we go to the back, maybe that's where we make the changes with, with, the, um, with the movement. Okay. Sounds, sounds good to me. I think it's a great idea. Great, right? We were talking about Guyoshi dials. Um, yeah. Guyoshi dials. 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 Which is the height of case. Case. And uh, the right. base, base needs to have zero, zero point millimeters, millimeters thick at least. Uh, um, and, uh, and, uh, if it's not that thick, then it really uh, it basically, basically possible, not possible to make a hand Guyoshi. You can make right. a Guyoshi. Guyoshi. Our eyes, like my, and I'm sure, and I'm sure you guys, our eyes, we won't recognize this using a loop or something, and maybe not, maybe not even with a loop. But um, right. uh, what I do, I do like about Stefan is the purity, purity. Like when you look at the gold watch that brought up, brought up it's it's pure. It, it, it looks fantastic. That I at twelve o'clock that looks at you, looks at you, and um, the, um, would make this, would make this rose in rose gold, and it, it, uh, this to matches to the dial. Other than that, other than that, keep it very. It look it looks fantastic. Now, now do you have want to have a fantastic movement, movement, and you would like Stefan to do some special for you. For you, um, um, we can talk about it and see what he what he is able to do and willing to do. And uh, we go, no problem, no problem. Yeah, yeah. So I think that that's the, the decision then is we stay with the rose gold case here. We stay mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. his inspiration and the, and the artistry of this and the simplicity of what he's done with the dial, especially because if we add guilloche, even if it would work to add guilloche to the, to the dial, it would compete with the other elements of the dial. And, and then that, to my to my mind, would be the wrong way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think if you decide you have you have SPO five on order, um, and, and we can go as go along go along before, before you get to the point of placing a final order. I, I'm more than happy to talk with you, talk with you about Guyashi designs. And something I, I would like I would like you owe you actually. Um, it's your in the back, I and pick it up, pick it up quickly to and show you. Uh, um, it's a dial that made that made for a watch for myself. I gave it from Ben Singer, and I said, and I said, you're very pure, very pure dial. I just want, I just want a dial, nothing fancy, no frosted rings, no applied in, no, no in the index, nothing, nothing. Um, what he did for us on on fire, fire, put like what like white dots, hour, hour. That's it. No minutes, indications, uh, uh, nothing, nothing. No seconds indicate nothing, nothing. Uh, oh, wow. Very pure, pure. I'll show you in a moment if you want to. Just walk over, okay. walk over, and mm -hmm. cool. So and, um, um, this is, by the way, this is not um, whatever configuration I do in the Sartori. Um, this is not coming for at least a year, right? The, he's got yeah. uh, in in something I'll like this general... one here, huh? This one, this one that you brought up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, he took 75 orders in something like 10 or 11 days. So what he did was he went yes. out and originally offered 50 pieces to his present clients. And then on top of that, once that was filled, I'm not, I can't remember how long that that took. Just a few days, I think. A few days. It, 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 max, maximum, maybe less than less than a handful of days. Yeah, and then he offered twenty five pieces on, um, I think, like on Instagram and things like that. And the I think I placed my order. I want to say Wednesday night for this, okay. and Thursday he closed it. So I must what? have been like one of the last one or two of the wow. 25. And then Thursday morning, I think it was Thursday morning, it was closed. So he's wow. got 75 wow. pieces to work on over the next year, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Be busy. Be busy. A lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. <laughs> that's a lot of work. That's a, a lot, lot of work. work. Yes. Yes. Okay. So then this one I might end up doing in something really unique like titanium. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and then guilloche and and you know make it really an interesting uh piece but this is going the the kadoke will be the classic piece that, that will be the classic but artistic dress watch piece then in the collection you know when i look at i look at these two the kudoka kudoken and the uh sbo sbo4 or sbo to me it's something it's something like uh, Armand is the avant-garde designer, uh, whereby whereby Stefan is or uh, an in, I don't uh, it's more like a fashion watch watch Yeah. Um. Right. I, um. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. Stefan's designs, designs. I've been I've been looking, looking and following him for time. I've time I've met uh, many times and times and um. Well, um that is work. That is workshop. We also have long, a very long. Uh, lunch uh, together, uh, together, uh, together, chatted about, chatted about the industry, industry and, and about development. Develop. And I think, and I think that wasn't 1919 um, when I um, when I was there. Uh, a lot of, a lot of fun, um, very, 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 very interesting, very, very uh, spirited. He grew up what was Eastern, Eastern Germany before the came down, down. Um, so, um, so he kind of experienced the world. The world. I mean. Western Germany was socialist, socialist society, and Eastern Germany was was a, a, a socialist country. Um, when the wall, um, came, the wall came down, to mer two merged. Um, it has brought opportunity, so but it also, also has misery to people who couldn't who couldn't adjust. Um, Stefan is an incredible character. He embraced it, so it so much, and uh, became very success, very successful with his work. His, his work is fantastic, and watches go, watches go all over the world. It's really impressive. impressive. Yeah, he must have a very different having experienced that socialist and having grown up in that socialist East Germany, and then to be able to pursue his dream of not only business ownership. But also the artistry and the creativity and everything that now he can pursue in Germany, it must be such a juxtaposition, and he must um, not only enjoy but appreciate that so much more than most people, such as myself, who have always lived in in a capitalist society and and not ever experienced where that decline of socialism ultimately leads. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, for him, he, him, I, I, I remember we, remember we took a long walk after uh, lunch, and, and he was talking about his childhood. He was when the when the when the walk, and I think I think in his teenage years or something. Um, 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 so it it it, 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 it hard for some for some fifty when the wall came, the wall down, came down to adjust to a new system. Uh, yeah. For him, for him, he was young, but he had. Just, uh, and the credible, credible talent, and and the artistic is is um, and they're a great team, great team. It's been and weapon and work just incredibly, incredibly sub each other, each other. I think I think counts very and and after success, success. Um, and, um, and also he is getting movements from uh, Harbring. Um, that's another great team in Austria. Husband and wife who um, are are very successful with what they're doing and. Uh, creating even their own movements, which is amazing. How does Stefan's wife pronounce her name? Is it Ev or Eve? <laughs> um, call her Eve. Or Eve. Uh, Eve. E yeah, Eve. 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 I, 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 oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. It, it, uh, in uh, German, the E, the E, uh, the E is more like an A. A. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, e, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, I is an E. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. If if we were you know pronouncing K U um, K U D O K E in the states, right? We might either go Kudoki, right, or yep. it might just be Kudok, <laughs> right? Yep. Um, and have a style. Kudok, Kudok, Kudok. Yeah, yeah, Kudok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, yeah. but it's really Kudoka. Kudok, Kudoka. Yeah. And it's really Ev. It was very interesting when I uh, spoke with, uh, with Stefan, uh, Stefan how, how experiences, experiences he made along the way with customers and everything. There is a huge reception for us across, across the globe, which is very, which is very, because he is, because he is a, not a big, a big manufacturer of hundreds of pieces, but he has, but he has this international recognition already. And that was before he won the Grand Prix. 
Um, so with Lee, I think Lee, I think that must have even accelerated and uh, and uh, exploded even more. So now, what are our next steps with Kudoke, and um, what what should we expect as far as conversations, timing? Um, how do we kind of get in a, in a groove with them and into their process? Um, um, we have to. Abilities. I can speak with him, talk about our our discussions, tonight, um, and then and then um, tell him tell him that we would keep the, keep the dot as simple as it is and, it is, and have him with him with technique, and then and then that I like to talk with him about finishing, finishing ask him about, about him options options movement. A basic question to me, uh, to you, to you from me is when when you get a rose watch, watch like to have, like to have a rose colored, colored movement, or would you prefer a silver, a silver steel colored, colored movement? When you're saying the movement, are you talking about um, like the the um, the plate on the back or? Yeah. What do you think? All All the bridges. bridges. Would, would you like them to be a rose gold yeah. matching? I think. I think I've seen I've visiting, visiting him most of the time. Time he has movement in gold, a gold color, or bronze, or, or or at least in a yellowish color, not in a steel color. Um, so there, there what he has, questions. yeah, what he has listed here is that it's. It, it, that it's available for electroplating. Um, the bridges are available for electroplating in white rhodium, black rhodium, yellow gold, and rose gold. Um, it's a great question. Um, part of me would say, boy, that would, wouldn't it look nice to have like a white rhodium contrasting the, the gold case? Yes. yes. You know? Um, yeah. I, I'm always up for a little bit of contrast, but of course, you know, one of the things maybe to, to think about is to do that white rhodium contrast in the major bridge right here. And then when it comes to this bridge, which I guess would just be the, the, the balance cock, um, yeah. then do that in gold, right? And then that would really set that, that movement off. Okay, so mix colors. Yeah, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what, um, um, the move, the movement can't be an actual different, different contrasting colors. Um, um, I I like rose gold, but sometimes I think about, about it, it about it, and most most watches are are in a rhodium color. Um. Mm -hmm. Like um, like get a, get a, a watch from Laurent Ferrier, podium colored, um, um, looking fantastic. I just had a watch that I, watch that I sold late last year, um, black black. Um, I don't know if it was a DVD or something. Not a from Kodoka else, but else, but um, it it really interesting. So I think so. Bring a black a black um, um movement. Move. Uh, it it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a trust to gold gold. But it could look very interesting. I'm just going to pull up the, the caliber right yeah. here. He yeah. may have yeah. a couple pictures. The usual, the usual looks like looks like mums in, in these gold colors. Um, yeah. Imagine this in black or maybe even in black or, or uh, all the ridges, ridges in black, the wheels, wheels in silver. Um, it could look still amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure. I I, I think I would want to understand first. Um, like here, you obviously see the polished edge, right? Um, yeah. Going around the movement here, it looks like that's where he really focuses the polishes at the outer edge of that plate, and yes. then yeah. right here on the balance cock. Is that is yeah. that yeah. what you would say? Yeah. Balance cock is engraved hand. Um, um, does that does that a workshop? Workshop, yes. Yeah, it's it's yeah. you know, German German uh, um, old, old pocket watches. Lange, Lange, and Söhne and Moritz Grossmann. They had they had 
this bound around sideways and that why that's why la and and Boris 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 both do both do it nowadays, nowadays. Others are doing it too. Um Kudoka it too, it had too. It has a hair German, German watches watches had a had a different look than Swiss pocket watches or for a British dish. Um and today, today's time, you look at you look at these top these top makers and, and even somebody who who is who Doka who is, Doka, who is kind of still a top maker. This is top watch, of ma watch making of Haft is Haft especially. Um, um, they are kind of adhering, kind of adhering to the old German, old German heritage. They approached uh, approached uh, finishing. Yeah. So I think before I can answer that question exactly. Um, maybe just having a conversation about what's possible with the the bridges um, or the, the it, we say bridges but really there's one main bridge it's almost like a three quarter plate yes. like you would you know you, you yeah. would see with Langa or something of that nature but just understanding that a little bit better he may just come back and say well the only real thing that we can do is create you know skeletization here um, you wouldn't want to do that over here because he's got this plate with his brand and everything in it. So I think we just need a little bit more information to be able to say, okay, well then let's do, well, let's go in this direction. And then once we have that, it'll, it'll be a lot easier to make a, a decision. Yeah. Um, let's put it, let's put it this way. If thinking, thinking about some skeleton, skeletonization, there are people who have, who have something, their favorite dog like to have, like to have the face of their skeletonized, or, 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 um, um, Jochen Benzinger, he's all kinds, all kinds of skeletonizations, skeletonizations here in Germany. So does Kudoka, Kudoka, um, um, they're just, they're good at, they're good at it. They're, um, they're absolute, absolutely, absolutely fantastic artisans, artisans, um, and, and and to do it on their level, that's pretty much level. You're not you're not gonna hire any higher in Germany. You're not gonna you're not gonna get it. I think it's I think it's Switzerland either. Both both ex exceptionalists in that in that sense. Things are, those things are possible if you just if you just think about, thinking about thinking about opening so you can so you can see more of the or something or something. Sure, I can, sure I can talk with and ask his advice because he knows, because he knows the movement better than I do. It's all low, low, um, and what could be to open, to open up, so you see um, what, what is interesting, interesting on movements, and, and and this is what attracts me a lot is is action, the move, the movement of a movement, <laughs> um, you know, the wheels and everything, and everything inter interacting. Um, I, I a lot of movements, movements, especially in chronographs, because when you look at the back of the back data data or 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 one of their other graphs, you you see all this action going on, push, push, uh, pushers, and, pushers, and you see what's happening. Fantastic, fantastic. I know, I know from a from a Swiss friend, I was doing something one day. They have a they have an a, a, a where the front where the front showed what's going on and how the is act is acting and everything. So these are going to be very cool to see. Um, um, it's, right. it's these are things are things we can add on, add on. Um, he thinks about it, about it. Um, um. I can uh, get his advice and send things together together with him. We can even be on a, a on, uh, stream uh, beam, uh, this with this with him if you uh, uh, ask him. Ask him. Um, I'm, uh, sure it, I'm sure it will look for him. Look for him as well, and it would be full on, full on the three of us about watching about watch and listening listening to all his expertise and his ideas and his vision and his and everything. I think um, could be fun, be fun for you for everybody else. Yeah, well, and and I think that seeing movement in the in in the um, the case back would be great because let's be honest, up here there's not any movement going on, <laughs> nope. right? No, <laughs> not much, not much, not much. Uh, I think yeah. I have don't know if I have a video. I have a video of, of Joker One. Joker One. When I was when I was there, I couldn't have to to I couldn't film it. And I the time the time flies. You visit, you visit. Usually, usually I I am I'm, I'm always alone when I go visit, and and I either have some idea, some idea or I get or I get carried away in the dis. Then I just then I just enjoy the discussion. Be don't want to don't want to be in a, in a discussion. And distracted shooting shooting photos and videos with people, uh, people especially when they're talking about everything they're doing it's also it's also important to understand all, all their motivation and everything why their things is in heritage is, is coming from from their vision their vision um it like makes makes the of a watch a watch um 
you know, a, a, a you, get it, when you get it delivered, you 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 see the result. The result, but that there's so much, so much going in, in and and that teach his history, experience, experience of the experience of the specific watch make. Um, that is what that is what's made the watch complete. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it sounds like we've got direction on this now, and that you're going to have a, a conversation specifically about the the movement side of things and then hopefully we'll the three of us will be able to get together and make some final decisions about that now um yeah. again because i don't know and because anybody watching this wouldn't know either what kind of time frame for a project like this are we talking about um, um really depends it depends no he has a full full book so you may not watch this from him from him final watch watch um, he can start this year. I would expect that you're looking at, looking at nine to nine of months at this point. At this point, yeah. Okay. So, so next year, next year, March, I think that could be, that could be possible. You, could, I mean, we're having difficulties here in Germany in production processes. So if one wheel, one wheel isn't delivered, one part one part through through something can be delayed. But um, I don't um, I don't think it would be a problem. Stefan, Stefan, um, um, but. Um, he definitely, he definitely, it, it, it will tell you. You're not going to get. It. Okay, that's that's great. I, I love. I've really enjoyed. You know, last year I think I bought and sold a total of twenty or twenty-two watches. Right. Cool. Um, you're nearly as good as I am. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and there was something about that that I really came to dislike. I, I would much rather have a plan over the next year, year and a half, enjoy the process, enjoy one piece at a time, let it be part of refining my collection. So I'm kind of glad to hear really that this wouldn't be something that's taking place until next year. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think the way I would approach it is with him, talk to him, talk with him, talk, talk, talk with him about the move, about the move. Get some of his advice regarding, yeah. regarding moving the movement and regarding coloring the moving, the, which color to choose, to choose. Ask him what would a movement look like and maybe he can assist us with, crea with creating some renderings on the movement, which will help, help to vision, visually um, um, en encompass this, what this watch this watch would like. look like. You know, it's hard when you hard when you only discuss and you don't see, don't see it. And I think if we get to uh, um, the rendering, then we can be able to be able to better hold on, hold on. Oh, this would look fantastic. You know, contrast contrasts can be absolutely phenomenal, and, and, and that's kind of what I would go go in that direction. Basically, basically, love to create this process. I, I, I look at somebody told me I used to be an IT guy, and and at the longest time, longest time I was working as a, a manager, and, and 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 at this point, this with these business has developed developed the same way. I'm just not creating projects, projects. I'm creating watch projects, and right. fantastic. I, I, I'm having so much fun doing, doing this, even describe, even describe this in words. Um, if somebody had told me 10 years ago, Boris, this is what you will t do yes. in 10 years, I would have said, yeah, we, we dream, keep dreaming. Um, right. I, I'm working on my, on my dream here. Not only am I the dream maker, but this is also my own dream. Right, right. Yeah. All right, and, well, cool. Uh, I think that this, hopefully this video really helps you know, other people think through how they can begin working with you um, and, and what this process really, really feels like from the beginning of the conception of something. And, and it's really helped me kind of with you here to talk through where my collection is right now, where I want to go with it, you know, all of those sorts of things. And then to getting to the point where we're ready to make decisions here and, you know, timing things out. Um, I really appreciate the time that you've taken today to help me and hopefully a lot of other people um, start uh, this kind of journey as well. It'd be very cool. Be very cool. I mean, this is this what makes what makes the fun. And we're not, we're not getting only a watch. You're getting a whole process with you. Stefan, Stefan is, is accessible, and this is what I love about these independent. Um, they are they are accessible. Some, some more, some less, and and, and they're challenging. Some I'm having some having some challenge on the project, on the project. At, the at the moment. It used to be delivered. Be delivered two days ago. 
uh, it actually started. started. This is this is sometimes sometimes goes, and uh, you know when you have watches that are largely handmade and handcrafted, uh, uh, there are there are delays. We're probably looking at three months delay, months delay on that watch now. Um, yeah. it, it's okay. It's okay. It it. Um, um, but I am there, and you know, uh, at times when people when people do try to do this off by themselves and they're far away abroad like you are you're in the u.s something like switzerland or germany is doing or he's not not for me I, it's accessible you know i i can still jump in my car to switzerland, to switzerland hours, seven eight hours later and i and i can meet and discuss but if you're in the u.s, in the US you can't do that so and i'm and i'm and i'm good in my type, which i like i like to create implementations i'm not always doing it doesn't all doesn't always work that way but but um, I have I have some plans. A book, a book, maybe two years from now. Now about this, these projects, the watches in it, and in it, and the stories behind it. Uh, uh, I, I, I I also create documentation, documentation. So when when I'm done, there will be a little bill or or a little booklet, booklet company and me and different steps and steps involved of to creating. You know, when you first start, people say, oh, say, oh. A watch that watch that and that and that. Uh, it's rose gold or it's gold or or steel. And then we come, then we come to the point where it's a certain maker, and then we make adjustments. We create we create these things, these things, these as, uh, aspects of the watch. We create we create a different color, a different, color, or different uh, uh, finishing. You know, it's it's it. That's what makes it. Um, yeah. And this is what you, this is what you can do with these little guys. We you get with 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 a manufacturer. It's five thousand five thousand watches. All right, Boris. Well, thanks again for your time. I look forward to uh, the next time that we get to connect. Maybe um, if Stefan would be open to it, we could even um, have a discussion similar to this and record it um, for other people to to hear as well in, in the near future. Absolutely. I would love to. I'll speak about it about Stefan and uh, the, we'll, we'll see how it is. I think that's a fantastic idea. I think will also, will also Stefan, Stefan as a person closer to, to watch calendars in the United States. That would be great. I mean, I mean, now, now we're, we're, we're in, a way, in a way, despite that, it's causing us major, major pain we're living in, a gold, in a golden age of technology. All right. te 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 technology is opening doors. doors. I mean, I, I was talking today. Today, who is also a watcher, and 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 like imagine, imagine twenty five show and go, and we had such a it have shut down, shut down everything. That, I mean, okay, there was phone video conferencing or something, but imagine everybody is on a is on a video video conference, all phones systems worldwide would crash. Right. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic in, in that sense, in that sense. Yes, I know that's not fantastic not for everybody. And this is just a very, 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 very challenging time, but opportunity out there and technology, technology is the doors for doors for these opportunities. Yeah. Well, Boris, thanks so much. Um, have a happy Easter. I know that you guys are, um, it's getting quiet over in Germany right now and in celebration of Easter. We're about to do the same thing here. So uh, thanks for taking time with me today. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark, for opportunity. opportunity. Thank you for your interest. And uh, I, am I am very excited working about working with you together on this. And, uh, and uh, I'm sure we'll get, sure we'll get support Great. from Stefan. Great. Thanks. Have a good one. Happy Easter. Bye. Bye. Happy Easter. <laughs> Bye.